Hey guys, Basic Sorgatomics. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitters. And uh, yeah, I took I took a day off. I took a day off. If you guys are catching us on the uh, on the feed, uh, yeah, you know sometimes you just gotta take a day to yourself, or at least a morning to yourself, because you know you got a lot coming up. So apologize for the tardiness there. Uh, but there's also a lot of my mind. I actually uh, uh, pulled the trigger on a, a change in my uh, life and career here this week. Actually, uh, uh, looks like we're gonna be uh, leaving. Uh, working with the as the uh, web director with our friends at Seclair Behavioral Health out in uh, Export PA, and uh, it's not you know anything any real big reason. It's kind of a moving on point uh, for some other projects coming up and need to make some uh, some room in in my schedule for one thing. And uh, so it, it, everybody out there has been super awesome. For those who don't know, uh, uh, Seclair, you can check out uh, what's going on there at Seclair dot com. And uh, I'm adding a little Seclair. I've never done that before. I think I'm, I'm developing my French accent um, after all these years. But uh, 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 I'm rolling back to high school, man. Um, but anyways, so uh, we're heading out of there, and uh, I, I this was the this was the gig, the job, the the part timer uh, that was the first thing that helped me step away from my full time job. And it was the first thing to say, "Cool, I got this." Um, hey give me less hours because I'm, I'm I'm on my way out and 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 we made the deal right the deal that would change everything right and uh, and that was cool you know went did some video with them helped them with their social media got that stuff up to snuff and even at a, at a certain point completely redeveloping a pretty sizable website uh, bringing it to the uh, to the to, to the forefront with uh, you know actually brought them over to Squarespace as a platform for their back end and and was a real big <laughs> The sites that I've done since are easy in comparison to what we had to put together for those guys uh, on that thing. There's so much information they wanted in there, and uh, it, and, and it was a it was a pretty big undertaking to do one day a week. Uh, is what it was my my charter for that job, and 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 developing basically their on time online presence, uh, develop, helping develop a podcast with them that was sustainable that they could do on a regular basis, working with their PA students and uh, and and developing that and doing other kind of video projects, other other things to kind of reach out to the community, and it was a fun gig because it was um, it was a place that I could uh, kind of grow and experiment with. And uh, was really not giving given much charter aside from um, outreach and education. Uh, they they had the way that they did things there with behavioral therapy, with uh, dialectical behavior therapy, with uh, mindfulness, with mental health, and they just wanted to get that uh, message out there. And that's really a lot of what we worked with, and a lot a lot of working with them and and sharing that and and just have people be able to look at the website, look at the social media, and see that it was someplace they wanted to visit if they were, you know, looking for someplace, you know, with addiction, mental health issues uh, in, in in the greater Pittsburgh area, basically, right, in Westmoreland County. Um, and it was, uh, it, was a, it was a great experience overall. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, really kind of cut my teeth on, on doing a lot of things. Um, it was really my first... If I if I'm remembering right, this is my first paid social media job. Uh, it is my first thing where I'm managing for a client, Twitter, Facebook, that sort of thing. Uh, before that, I mean everything that I learned, I learned from doing stuff for the podcast for PodCamp Pittsburgh, helping with that kind of thing. And I think even up until that point, I probably wasn't a big part of the actual social media behind PodCamp Pittsburgh. Um, and 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 being a being able to decide, okay, how do we manage these multiple accounts with everything, which has led to how I do all the shows and all the clients that I'm working with now, and how do we divide those up? And uh, and it was really good. And even along the way, I also thankfully raised a lot of things because it was the topics that they talked about about how to be, you know, a little more mindful, a little more, uh, a little less stressed, how to deal with anxiety. And as somebody that was striking out as on his own uh, to do a business. Um, I think it, it would, I definitely needed that. It, it, if I had started with any other client that didn't have those kinds of practices really ingrained that I would kind of glom off of, um, I probably physically, mentally, as, I, as I'm battling sinuses and just feeling kind of like a complete wreck right now, um, but aside from that, physically, mentally, would probably be a lot worse off than I am now. Um, and, and it's led to a lot of other clients, a lot of other uh, projects um, in a similar space in healthcare, um, in mental health and, 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 and psychiatry, 
uh, that uh, that have been great. Have been pretty great. Uh, so uh, it, it's been uh, it's been a pretty uh, cool ride there. Uh, you know, and again, kind of developing something. You know, not only you know going and doing these videos and, and making these these interviews that we could do to 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 show who these people were. Um, you know, I've talked about in other places, especially like Indie Mayhem show. Like, you got to show what the show is like. You got to show what the people are getting into. And we try to do that with just getting the personalities on camera. You know, whether it be the doctors, whether it be the massage therapist, the yoga instructor. Um, and and while the numbers were never you know runaway hit numbers on on all these social media platforms, uh, the biggest thing that we had as a takeaway here. Because remember, I'm not doing anything to directly sell anything in this. There's no click through to buy that I can track to see how well we're doing. All I have are views and likes, and 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 and, and that's it. And but when I go to a meeting and they say, "Hey, we had pretty much a sellout of this retreat, of the silence retreat that we did. Um, people are coming in, clients are coming in and saying, "Hey, I saw your video on this subject," and that keeps them ahead on what they need to discuss instead of sitting there in a session in a group you know in, in, a, in, a, in a in a psychiatry session in a counseling session um and explaining these concepts they get a head start and a primer on these concepts before they even get a chance to to, to get in there and they can pick up part way into the conversation and and it makes it more effective for the client it makes it easier for uh for the the doctor to get somewhere with it and I think we did really, really well on the message, on the focus, on the, on the, on the appearance, on the online presence. You know, uh, you know, we talk about with social media a lot. It's about uh, establishing you as the expert in that topic, so that when people look up, I need help with this, and from somebody in this area, these are the people who come up. And of course, uh, the doctor, Doctor Sardri out there um, was already an expert and doing that in a certain way. We just optimized it. He's already going around doing these talks with some great groups. Um, early on, I had to go film him doing a talk about mindfulness in front of uh, a law board. In front of, um, um, uh, what do you call it? The, 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 uh, the bar. The, the, the law. The, yeah, <laughs> the attorney bar. Whatever the hell you call it here in Pennsylvania. Um, and, uh, and, and, and say, he's already out there. Before me, he was part of a local show that he developed um, around 2009 with the local, not cable access, it was the local, um, it's technically the Pittsburgh News Channel, PCNC, Pittsburgh City, no, Pittsburgh Cable News Channel, no. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, done out of Channel 11 here. And uh, I'm sure that was a paid time thing um, or something. So so the first thing I had was I had all that material to start sorting through and putting on YouTube and getting out there. People can still go view some of it up there. We had to, we had to cut some of it because of uh, we were kind of concerned about somebody that was that was on it. If we could show them, you know, stuff like that. But again, we already had that and we could take those concepts and and mold them more for online mold them more for these new platforms as they arose over the last five years and that's really cool and that's what i learned from this client that i had for five years and we got to build something and now i get to hand that off to somebody else we, we really kind of the tools are there everything is in place and now it's up to the next person to just take those and keep going and keep listening um and and we really kind of put them onto platforms that should be okay to hand the keys over on uh, which is why I use things like Squarespace, which is why I, I, I don't um, ingrain stuff into Sorgatron media accounts as much as possible that I can say, here you go. Good luck. <laughs> Yo, let me know if you have any problems. And uh, and, and I think that's really cool. So uh, if you want to see the kind of stuff we did there, uh, seclair.com, a lot of videos, a lot of things, uh, even the video stuff we really did with what can we do within their budget without me dragging my cameras in, right? We used, you know, a, a, a microphone, you know, a microphone and a webcam that uh, was going to be easy for them to set up to say, here you go, you know, and, 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 and hopefully at some point, you know, now they'll have to uh, uh, learn enough that they can go set up. And there's days that I haven't made it there on Monday that they've gone set it up and they've delivered me videos and I can go clean it up a little bit, post it, and, and it's pretty decent, you know, um, and they can do that. Then carry on without me. So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. What what do my children do that I've developed and uh, uh in this client? Uh, what do they do without me? Have they 
how where do they take my teachings from here but that might be a weird way to say that but um thank you so much hey speaking of squarespace if you're interested in what the heck that thing is we're doing a web, uh, no a workshop and a webinar uh, coming up here uh february 3rd i believe the date is wherever that wednesday is uh go to sidekickmediaservices.com go to um sorgatron.com we have info up there uh follow the twitter twitter.com slash sidekick media co and uh get all those details and we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com